Okay, today I'm going to show you how to use baking soda to raise your alkalinity in your pool. I have a video already with alkalinity up, but I thought I would do this follow-up using the baking soda, which is the same ingredient as the alkalinity up. Okay, so you're going to have to test your alkalinity. You can either use a Taylor test kit, five-way test kit. I wouldn't recommend test strips. They just give you a ballpark and not a very accurate reading. So either of these two kits are good for the alkalinity reading. Okay, the next step is to measure your pool to see what size it is. That way you can get the right amount of baking soda in there to raise the alkalinity up. And I have a separate video on my channel that goes through the process of measuring your pool. This pool is kind of odd. It has one area where it has three feet deep. It's got a fairly large spa. And it's got a one foot waiting area here. This pool comes in right about 11,000 gallons. Not a very large pool at all. If you buy the five pound bag, it actually has a chart for the pool use here. It's got some guidelines here to raise the pH and alkalinity. I would advise you just use this to raise the alkalinity. If you want to raise your pH, you can use the borax. It raises the pH without moving the alkalinity significantly. And you can use the back of the bag to calculate how much to add. The better way is to go online to the poolcalculator.com, use that tool, calculate how much of the baking soda you need to add to raise your alkalinity. And generally speaking, a good range is anywhere from 80 to 120. Use the Taylor test kit to get, get the alkalinity today. It's slightly more accurate than the 5-in-1, even though this one is fairly accurate. Do the test really quick. I'll have two drops of R7. Pull that around here. Five drops of R8. that around also. We're going to go ahead and use the R9 and we're going to count each drop. After each drop you want to scroll it. That'll give you the alkalinity reading. And the color changes I'll show you here. So I put six drops in. And so the alkalinity is at 70 right here at this pool. And you're also going to want to check the pH while you're at it because it will raise it slightly if you add the alkalinity up. Here's the updated version of the pool calculator, so I went ahead and put 11,000 gallons for this pool. And so right now it's 70, I want to raise it to 80, and there's how much I need to add there. 21 ounces by volume, or 26 ounces by weight, and that'll raise it up in 11,000 gallons of pool water. If you scroll down here, the temperature doesn't really matter, it doesn't affect the alkalinity. You can put 80 degrees, and you still have to add the same amount in there. And the other numbers don't really affect the alkalinity amount in the pool calculator. So this is an easy way to find out how much baking soda you need to add to raise your alkalinity. Just go to the pool calculator. I have the measurement that I'm going to add to the pool based on the calculation to raise it from 70 to 80 parts per million. You can go ahead and add it to your pool. You can add it to the deep end of your pool if you want. The water cloud, it may make the water cloudy. So since it's a base, I like adding it directly to the skimmer. It won't affect the equipment. This way it doesn't make the pool cloudy. And you can see by adding it to the skimmer here, the pool stays really clear. If you do add the baking soda to the skimmer, make sure your pool runs through the normal cycle. That way it cycles through your pool water. Okay, then after adding it, you want to recheck the alkalinity the next day to see if it raises the proper level. So that's how you add the baking soda to raise the alkalinity in your swimming pool.